there's more to Sanya than beautiful beaches. This week on Expat Nat, we're seeking higher ground and the delicious flavours of Hainan. After freshening up and having a little rest, we decided to head to a local mountain to see some views of Sanya and hopefully the sunset. This is Lin Chunling Forest Park and it has free entry. I probably should have done some more research because there were about a million steps to get to the top. This hike is very tiring. I recommend coming in the evening when it's not so hot. We eventually reached the top where there is a beautiful pagoda to show the views of Sanya. Unfortunately, we missed the sunset, but I don't regret it because it was very hot. We made it to the top of the watchtower and yes it is worth it, we were a little bit late and missed the sunset but it's beautiful. we'd worked up quite an appetite. This is supposed to be a really good coconut chicken hot pot. And then you choose the drinks that you want and then you pay for them and then you open them yourself, things like that. But these are the non-alcoholic ones and then everything else is pretty much just beer. tourist destination so make sure you arrive early because we queued for hours to get in and get the bus up to the top. So it's incredible. 
incredibly busy here. Um, off season is from um, May to October, so I suggest coming then and then it won't be as busy because we've been queued for like an hour and a half um, and it's not enjoyable when it's that busy. This is the famous Dragon Rope Bridge. It is very high up and if the person in front of you wobbles the bridge, you can feel it. So if you're scared of heights like me, maybe skip this one. the buggy bus to peak point the very top of the mountain to get something to eat and see what activities they had up there Mimi bought me ice cream sausage Hello. 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 Don't come up to the top expecting gourmet food. Everything is expensive and there wasn't much flavour to our noodles. Peak Point doesn't just have restaurants, it also has thrilling adventures such as the Rainbow Bridge Rafting. This experience takes you down a glass slide all the way from Peak Point back down to the bottom of the mountain. The corners on this slide were fast and terrifying, but I'm so glad we did it. It was my favorite part of the park. we headed back to the car and wanted to embark on one of the road trips that Sanya is famous for. Sanya is also known as a hub for supercars. Here you can hire Lamborghinis, Ferraris and McLarens for just one day. Although this is way beyond our budget. From this vantage point, you can see the beautiful secluded and private beaches of the Park Hyatt Resort and the Andaz Resort. If you want to stay here and have access to this stunning paradise, it will cost you at least 23,000 RMB per night. Maybe next time, eh Mew? As a car fanatic, this drive was Mew's highlight of our whole Sanya trip. The view of Yalong Bay in the distance had us heading there for sunset. Yalong Bay Beach is described as the best beach in Sanya. With miles of white sand and designated swimming spots, it's a must visit for travellers and locals.
just steps away from the beach is a wonderful food street where you can find restaurants, souvenirs and other retailers. This area is bursting with life in the evening. We were recommended this seafood restaurant However, for three simple dishes and bowls of rice, it costs over 400 RMB, which is 50 pounds and a little bit steep for what the food was. Still hungry after the meal, we headed out for dessert. What did you get, Mew? It's called a Qing Bu Liang. Qing Bu Liang, and what's in there? A lot of like different types of fruits. Is that uh, watermelon? Yeah, watermelon. You know, melon, combs, some like dragon fruit, some other bits. And what's the base? Is that like a yogurty type thing or like no, a coconut? Coconut. Yeah. Coconut milk. Ooh, nice. The sun rose around 7 a.m. in Sanya, which meant it was early enough for me to see. We took a slow morning before heading to a restaurant called South South for lunch. Good. Yeah, it's pretty small. This is the appetizer. Appetizer. Yes. Appetizer for today's meal. <laughs> Speaking of appetizers in today's meal, this restaurant had a wide selection of foods on their menu and some reasonably priced drinks. I spent the first half of the meal trying to convince Mew that these hand towels were marshmallows. Is that marshmallow? The restaurant provided filtered lemon water, but I also ordered a mango and passion fruit mojito and here we had some three cut fries, although there were actually only two different fries in this basket. Chinese version fish and chips. Yeah, Chinese fish and chips. Do you think it'll be good? I don't know. <laughs> Mm. Very nice. Hainan is famous for its seafood, which means it often has fresh seafood like this. Is this octopus or squid? Octopus. Oh my goodness. It's kind of cute though. <laughs> I opted for the pineapple grilled chicken salad since it was a warm day and I didn't want anything too warm or filling. I enjoyed the food and the dining experience so I definitely recommend this restaurant South South. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. See you next time.